For starters, my skin is looking atrocious. So we're going to moisturize with the La Roche Jose Double Repair Face Moisturizer. Then we're gonna go in with the Nessa Myrick Skimmy Skin Universal just to really get into the pores around my nose. And let's hop that with primer. This is Milk Makeup. Voice over me here. I use the Benefit Gimme Brow. But why did nobody tell me that Benefit allegedly pulls your brow hairs out? Like people have reported that they've seen like a great reduction in like their brow fullness after using Benefit. That's crazy. Six and a half hours later. My brows are truly my arch nemesis. I really like underpinning lately, so that's a little bit of that. This is the Nessa Myrick Semi Skin and It Girl. I'm gonna really pat the blush on too. And then because I'm a stand, Vanessa Myrick's Blurring Balm Powder. And since I'm underpainting, I can go in as heavy handed with this as I want. Then to contour down here, I'm gonna go in my regular E shape. And then for the nose, learned this from Uche and I've been obsessed with it ever since. Starting from up here and blending down gives you like the perfect nose contour shape. And I'm actually going to be careful with this part around my eyes because I'm not going to put anything else on my eye to cover this up. This is going to be the base of like my little eye shadow that I'm going to do. He's perfect. I'm going to use Dr. Brandt's. Onto concealer, it's Makeup by Mario. I only use Makeup by Mario. I tried the House Ops one, it was horrible. I hated it so bad, it creased every single time I put it on. I don't know if it was like the moisturizer, the color corrector, just the concealer in my under eyes. I don't know, but I hated it. <laughs> I wanna do one of those de-influencing videos and that concealer is absolutely going to be in it. Concealing in my regular spots. And we're gonna go heavy on the concealer today. I'm gonna clean up my contour because I put it a little low knowing I was gonna go back over it. Really filling in the creases under my eyeballs. And now I'm gonna let that dry. Gonna get rid of that awkward line by just blending this up into my eye. Then to kind of give myself just a little bit of a brighter under eye, I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D. And it's literally just a little bit brighter. Like to the point you probably can't even tell, but it is a smidge. It is a smidge brighter. And I'm gonna keep that in the crease. Cute, even just like this. Now it's finally time to go with my foundation. Back of my hand went up. And I'm gonna focus it down here. 
and I'm gonna focus it mostly on all the places where I don't have any makeup on yet. And now that I got all of those places, I'm gonna take just a little, a little bit and go over these areas so this isn't as harsh. Now that my face is dry, I'm gonna go back in with my powder. Starting with blush, I'm gonna use one of these two. Yeah. And then I did say I kinda wanna give sunset, so I'm also gonna use this Juvia's Place because it has the orange in it. And to tone her down just a little, I'm going to take the same beauty blender that I used to blend out my concealer and just go over this area right here specifically to make this transition a little bit less of that. I'm gonna go with the Huda, I'm gonna go with the Huda pink powder under my eyes. Way too much of it, clearly. I think the only thing this palette is actually missing for me is some type of shimmer. I throw a shimmer down on all of my eyeshadow looks, so if this had one, it would be like the perfect palette for me. I still think Milani has the best mascara hands now. This is one coat of mascara. I don't even really have eyelashes on the top, but...